Please be seated. Hello, everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, you're all very welcome to the Diploma and Certificate Graduation Ceremony this afternoon. Before declaring the Ceremony of the Royal College of Physicians of Ireland open, may I introduce the program party. Professor Mary Hogan, President of the RCPI. Dr. Sinead Murphy, Director of Education and Academic Programs. Dr. John Fitzsimons, Fellow of the Faculty of Pediatrics. Dr. Terry McWade, CEO of RCPI. And I am Dr. Peter Lachman, Fellow of the RCPI. This is a meeting of the Royal College of Physicians of Ireland for the purpose of graduation of the Diploma in Leadership and Quality in Healthcare and Certificate in Essential Leadership for New Consultants, which I now declare open. With your permission, President, we'll now proceed with the ceremony. Please proceed. Thank you, President. These ceremonies are an important date in the college calendar, which provide a wonderful opportunity to celebrate the efforts of those undertaking the RCPI Diploma and Certificate Successes uh, courses. And of course, this is the first one we've had since COVID started for this group, so uh, it is especially important for all of us. The successful graduates are here with us, with us uh, this afternoon. The Diploma in Leadership and Quality in Healthcare commenced in July 2011. The aim of this diploma is to provide senior healthcare personnel, clinical and non-clinical, with the expertise and tools to continually improve the quality of the service that they provide, develop expertise in leadership and team working, develop a safe and more cost-effective healthcare service, and provide person-centered care. It's a collaboration between the Royal College of Physicians of Ireland and the Quality Improvement Division of the Health Service Executive. The successful graduates are here with us today. The Certificate in Essential Leadership for New Consultants commenced in September 2017, and this certificate was developed to provide expertise and tools for newly appointed consultants in, in the HSE to smooth the transition from being a doer to being a leader and a decision maker who can really make a difference in the way they deliver healthcare. We welcome all the graduates today and we trust that you will use your knowledge and skills that you have learned to continually improve the care that you provide. Congratulations to you all. So we'll now move to the uh, graduation of the Diploma in Leadership and Quality in Healthcare. So uh, recipients, could I ask you to all stand please? Thank you. <clears throat> I will now invite the President to award you collectively with your Diploma in Leadership and Quality in Healthcare. Uh, if I ask everyone, please re uh, refrain from uh, applauding until I've called out all the names uh, one by one. And for those who come in, just remember the way to talk. So, uh, Mr. President, please could you go ahead. It gives me great pleasure as President of the Royal College of Physicians of Ireland to award you collectively with the Diploma in Leadership and Quality in Healthcare. Congratulations. Thank you. So now I ask you to come up one by one to receive this yep. certificate. Dr. Fitzsimon, will you take your position? And it's really interesting because some of you we haven't met before in person. <laughs> so I'm seeing that you do exist and that we exist as well. So uh, Anne-Marie from Nukane. Anne-Marie. <laughs> Remember to smile for the photos at the same time. Thank you. Annette Butler. Caroline Flynn. Karav Kanif. Many Carolines today. Caroline Lawson. Catherine Devaney. Celeste Torres. David Henley.
David with us. Deirdre Bradley. Denise McDonald. Dervla Kennedy. Donabel Joy, Antonio Rousseau. Adele Kelliger. Elaine Dunn. Emmett Conroy. Is Emmett here? Erica Morgan, Virgil Tuomi, Virgil Helen Cornelson. John Devlin, Joseph Garvin, Juliana Henry, Karen Prunty. Kate Hayes, Mary Barrett, Mary Gorman, Martina O'Reilly, Maura Daly, Miriam Colleran, Neville Kern, Neve Clark. Nora McKenty, Sheena Rafferty, Siobhan Kofi, Siobhan Masterton, Teresa Gallen, Vera Babu Paturi and Vimla Sharma. Congratulations. Say that. Okay. Yeah, we're going to do the next one. Uh, we're now going to move to the awarding of the diploma. Um, uh, for the graduation of the Certificate in Essential Leadership for the new consultant recipients. So can you all stand? I will invite the President to award you collectively with your certificates and leadership for new consultants. Now we will move to the graduation of the... Oh, that's your role? No, no yeah. you agree. It gives me great pleasure. It gives me great pleasure to, um, as President of the Royal College of Physicians of Ireland to award you collectively with the Certification in Essential Leadership for New Consultants. Congratulations. And a short circuit. Okay. Already. Uh, Philippa Mara Bianchi de Agua Reis.
Jose Maria Martinez Avila. Nehad Metwali Hassanin. Petya Petrova Bogdanova Milanova. Shashi Vaish. Zer Atakan. Yasar Hassan. Thank you, President. So you can all be seated. So um, it'll change this year. I'm giving a short address, which will be. So. I generally find these uh, occasions quite emotional because for many of you I have not met before in person. And this is our getting together. And this is what this is all about, the celebration, is that human relationships are really important. We teach us on the courses that we have and that the importance of connections. So I'm really pleased to make the connections with you in person today. So firstly, congratulations on your achievements. Uh, particularly the fact that we did most of these courses during the challenges of COVID, when you all were very busy, had extra demands, and we were asking you to come to courses and to do extra work uh, beyond the court of duty. And uh, for the faculty who were on both courses, for the new consultants and the diploma in quality and leadership, we were astounded by how much dedication we had from all of you to make a difference for the people we serve because we are servants of the people in the, in the health service. So this is a start of a journey of continual learning. It's, it's a journey that never ends, uh, that we've been on uh, for all our lives and we'll continue till we retire and stop working, even then we'll learn. But now the main thing is to apply this learning going forward, uh, to apply it for every person you see in the clean health service and in order to improve healthcare. At the core of all of this is looking after each other first as healthcare workers and then looking after the people we serve, we call patients. Uh, because we'll all be in that position someday and we know that if we can continually improve the quality of healthcare, then we can make a real difference for the next person. And that's how I like to look at it. Who's going to be the next person we're going to see and how we can make a real difference for that person, particular person, not for the patient, but for the person. And the person comes with a family and a wider community as well. And so that's where we see quality of healthcare going in the future to be kin-centered and person-centered, surrounding the whole community, because we need to really think about how we would like to be treated in healthcare. And that's what the aim of both courses are. For the new consultants, particularly what kind of consultant do you want to be? And for those who are already in those positions in different courses, what kind of healthcare professional, whether you be a nurse, physio, OT, podiatrist, et cetera. So we have to co-produce the solutions for the future. Working together, uh, we didn't have it, and that's what we really wanted to do on the courses that we had, is to empower you to take the future into your own hands and to continually improve the healthcare for the people of Ireland. We in the college are here to help you. It's not a one-off course. Uh, the college, uh, particularly for its members and for those associated with us, are, are, is here to provide you with resource and support to take you forward to the next level. We have many different ways we can do that, but it's by supporting each other that we can make a difference to healthcare across the country. The learning journey you started with us in Zoom or maybe in person if you are lucky, uh, is one that we want to continue with you. Uh, we think that we have, uh, this is now the 20, we're going up to 25 courses of the, the quality improvement program this year and we also have, uh, we're on the fifth one of the new consultants. It gives us a cohort of people around the country who can make a difference. I think that I would like to thank you and congratulate you because the courses are only as good as you, do, as you provide them. Without, without the learners feeding back to us, we can't provide you the courses. So I want to end with a, 
a quote from uh, one of my heroes, Nelson Mandela. He had many quotes I could give, but the one I'm going to give today is that education is the most powerful weapon you can use to change the world. If you reflect on that, um, the education is only powerful if you use it to the positive gain. So we hope that we have provided you with the education that you need to make a real difference. And I would like to congratulate all of you on achieving your diplomas and certificates. So thank you. I will now invite Professor Mary Horgan, President of the RSPI, to address the successful graduates of our diploma and certificates. Thank you very much, Peter. Um, it's a great pleasure to be here today, presiding over the first event face-to-face -face after a long absence for um, obvious reasons. You're here in our home, number six Kildare Street. Um, the College of Physicians was founded in 1654 as a fraternity, um, bringing people together to ensure that we can provide the best po quality possible. Um, I suppose a warm congratulations to the uh, new graduates of the Diploma in uh, Leadership and Quality in Healthcare, and also the certificate to my colleagues in essential healthcare, essential leadership for new consultants. And when I was presenting the uh, diplomas today, it reminded me of a few things. Um, how we work together as teams on the wards. Um, we aren't, we're stronger together. It isn't just about the doctors or the nurses or the physios or pharmacies or pharmacists or the therapists. And I was reminded uh, during the pandemic when I went back in the COVID ward in, in CUH, how important the, uh, and um, unrecognized a lot of the talents were, particularly in pharmacy and physiotherapy, that really taught me a lot, um, and as, as I teach our trainees a lot. And I'm also reminded when we constantly get battered by whoever decides to batter us on the media, that the strength of our health service is our people. It's those of you who work in the front line, um, who are all in front of me here today, but work as a team, truly. Um, I'm also, it's also a good reflection of what Ireland is. It's about diversity, it's about inclusion. It's about the welcoming that we have for uh, our new Irish um, who are well represented here today. Um, I wish that other countries uh, would follow our lead because I think that's exactly what we are as, as a country and as a society. And you reflect what we are as um, an Irish people. Um, the uh, getting to the stage that you are today is not without a lot of hard work. It's a rigorous process overseen by my colleagues here. Um, but you don't get here alone. Not only are we a team in, in the hospitals um, and in the community, but also um, a team at home. Um, I'm sure you use many of the excuse not to uh, do a bit of the tidying up because you were studying um, or you were on Zoom calls. <laughs> Um, not that I would ever think that you might do that, but um, it is really a team effort at work and at home. So uh, warm thanks to the people at the back of the room for um, all the support that they've um, given you. So no more excuses um, not to do the uh, wash up. Um, I would like to acknowledge this doesn't happen. It's also team effort um, in the college. Dr. Peter Lackman, Dr. John Fitzsimons, Dr. John Brennan, and Dr. John Quinn for their work in the Diploma in Leadership and Quality in Healthcare, and really reiterating what Peter said about that this is, needs to be sustained. You need to bring the skills that you have back to where you work and ensure that you encourage other people to get involved. Orla Ryan in the Quality Improvement uh, Division of the HSC have been hugely supportive of our effort and just acknowledge um, that of the HSC. Um, Dr. Peter Lackman and Margaret Considine for the Certificate in Essential Leadership for New Consultants. And Dr. Sinead Murphy, who is here on the po podium, who's our Director of Education and Academic Programs. And 
all of the staff within the college who support the education uh, programs. And I see uh, Dr. Anna Shotnessy in the background who coordinates a lot of these efforts. So I wish you ever, every uh, success in your future endeavors. It's great to see one of my former SHOs and registrars still learning here, Fargal Toomey, um, and contributing to, to um, the college. Um, this is your college. We're a college of learners, not just doctors. We're a college of learners. And we really do recognize the importance of working with our other health, allied healthcare professionals in really providing the best quality of care uh, to the people of Ireland. And I think we really do that, uh, reflecting on the increased lifespan of the population and our ability to embrace diversity uh, in this country. So enjoy the rest of your day and uh, look forward to meeting with you um, at the reception afterwards. Thank you. Thank you, President. Well, this completes the ceremony for this afternoon. Um, we ask that uh, the guests remain in the, in the hall while the graduates follow the present out in the procession. There will be group photographs. And just to say the group photographs is in, in the year that you're in, so, and the certificate that you're in, so you'll be called. So just don't start drinking before then. <laughs> Okay, so that will happen on the main uh, stairway hall. Uh, so in Graves Hall will be their reception. So thank you for coming and congratulations. <laughs>